don't live above your means just because you see other people doing things that you want to do or you think you can afford it but you really can't if you can't buy it twice you can't afford it okay period <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about saving money, okay? These are gonna be my eight tips that's going to actually help you succeed in saving the most money that you possibly can. So if saving money in 2021 is something that you guys are wanting to do, go ahead and continue watching this video and we'll get right into it. I wanted to ask you guys, why are you saving money? That's the first thing you wanna ask yourself is, why am I doing this? What's the whole goal? What is the game plan for me to be able to save a certain amount of money in a certain amount of time? You have to know your why. With money, you need to know exactly why you're doing it. Otherwise, you'll be going in it blindly. And you want to know what are the steps I need to take? What are the steps I need to take and what are the necessary things I need to do in order to save this money? Okay, so, oh my goodness, is something, every time I put on mascara, there's something in my eye. Okay, okay, so number one, you need to be realistic. So be realistic with yourself. You need to ask yourself, like, how much money can I actually afford to save per month? So that means that you are the only person that knows your income, right? How much money am I getting from work? How much money am I getting from disability? How much money am I getting from EBT? You put all of those things together because that equals your monthly income. So once you put that together and you, you calculate that versus your expenses, you're going to know, hey, I can only save probably like a hundred to two hundred dollars per month. The rest of it goes towards bills. The rest of it goes towards paying myself so I can treat myself. Ask yourself, are your expenses so much that I cannot save money? So that means you need to say, mm, maybe I don't need the Netflix subscription. <laughs> maybe I don't need title or apple music or anything that you have a monthly subscription that's not as useful in your life at that moment in time so once you realize i can cut out simple things like that you're going to be able to save so much more money trust me number two number two is cutting out useless transactions okay so this is one of the ones that i struggled with <laughs> how do you know if something useless right <laughs> but you got to be realistic go back to number one um I don't need to eat out right now. I got a home, I got a kitchen, I got food in the refrigerator. Let me go home and cook some food. Tell yourself like, I don't need this stuff right now because it's not gonna get me nowhere. It's not bringing more money into my pockets right now. So let me stop pulling money out my pockets to spend on it, right? Cut it out if you have a savings goal. If you know that you do not have an emergency fund. These are the things you gotta start thinking about, like especially because what are we in right now COVID time like quarantine for the most part people are starting to go back to work all of that you know but for the most part we're still in quarantine we're still in a pandemic so that means that you have to have some type of security you know to keep you from dwindling down a hole that you knew you could have set yourself apart from so number three be disciplined and consistent. Consistency literally is all in the mind. I promise you that. Like being consistent with something is literally if you choose to do it. Like people always say, oh, I couldn't, I didn't, oh my gosh, I forgot. Oh my gosh, I just overslept. Or oh my gosh, I didn't really. It's like it wasn't really that much of a focus for you to be that consistent on it, period. Like that's what I think. For myself, I told myself, like, look at the mirror um what's going on like <laughs> we need to be consistent with this otherwise we're not gonna get to the goal that we want to get to anyone can seriously say i want to save a thousand dollars a month right i want to save a thousand dollars in three months i want to save ten thousand dollars in a year anybody can say that but what are the things that you're actually doing to align with that goal know who you are and how you operate that's the main thing. Like I tell myself all the time, if I'm hanging out with a group of people that always like to go out and spend money, they always talking about what's the next move, always talking about going out for some drinks, always talking about going on vacation. 
Mm. Let me just cut down the amount of time that I spend with them because <laughs> they gonna make me exceed how much money I can spend per month. Because that's another thing. You need to have a spending limit. So that means that if you know that you were a group of people that consistently like to spend money, you don't know what their bank account look like, okay? But you know yours. So that means that you need to know, okay, I can go out with y'all this week and then go to the movies, go out to eat, whatever. But next weekend, the weekend after that, and the weekend after that, I'm in the house. Any goals that you have, you have to be humble enough to know, like, there's certain things that you're not going to be able to do until you reach your financial goals, period. Number four, create a separate account just for your savings. So this one is huge for so many people. Like I do not think that a lot of people have separate bank accounts or separate savings accounts, separate places that they save their money. If you have all of your money going into one account, literally all of your income, you work, you have, you work um, at two jobs, you know, you have uh, residual money coming in from somewhere. You also have this money, this money, this money. If you have it all going into one checking account, you're going to be bound to spend that money. So if you consistently see that money in that account, and obviously it's growing, right? And you're looking at it like, my account is growing. Oh my gosh, I have all this money in there. But you're not actually delegating that money to go into different places. You're going to spend the money. That's just how it is. That's just how our minds work. So it means that you need to take money out keep a certain amount in checking and once you lose all that money meaning that you spend all that money you then know that I spent my limit for this month I'm not touching my savings and I'm gonna wait till the next time I'm able to put money into my checking account to spend it even if you work a little tip on the side if you work at certain places, they're able to, sometimes your boss or whoever does payroll is able to actually separate some of the money that you, you know, you get per month, every two weeks, bi-weekly, whatever. You're able to separate some of the money that you get from your paycheck to one account and to another account. So ask your boss and comment below if you guys did it and see if they're able to actually separate your paycheck because that's another thing that really helps people oh i have my money going to groceries in this account and then rent and other bills in this account however you want to separate it but that's one of the key things that i noticed at jobs that they're they they are allowed to do so check that out number five is big because this one actually can be your savings goal 10 percent of your paycheck can go to savings okay i say can go because not everybody can do 10 percent. sometimes you can do five percent sometimes you can do three percent if you make a thousand dollars a month ten percent of a thousand is a hundred dollars so that means every single month you should be saving a hundred dollars by the end of the year you'll have what twelve hundred dollars you have to be able to know okay ten percent can go towards this savings account and if you could save more than a hundred dollars per month save more than a hundred dollars per month because then that would be more than 10%. Number six, keep loose change and small bills. So a lot of people that I know don't have coin purses, they don't have change boxes, change jars, you know, shoe boxes for money. But I always suggest having something like that because you don't know how much money we actually throw away when we're not keeping the little dollars or the little change that we get. We drop them, we don't feel like picking them up. We leave them certain places, we tell people to keep the change. But change adds up, okay? We have a food for less right around here somewhere and I'm able to actually go there and put my change in a little coin star, right? It'll calculate all my change and I'll be able to see how much money I've actually saved just in quarters, dimes, pennies, nickels. Like, you gotta be able to know like, okay, this is my money, period. Like, <laughs> however it came to me, it's here, okay? So I'm already, go ahead and check out my $20 money savings challenge. And that video can actually get you guys started into savings this year. So if you guys have not started saving, check out that video. It actually explains a way that you can save up to $7,000 within six months completing this challenge. God, okay, so if you're up to it, you're up to saving some money this year, go ahead and check out that video. And don't forget you guys to make sure to subscribe and like this video please and make sure you guys comment below if there's anything in this video that really stood out to you. If there's anything in this video that you learned, go ahead and let me know below. I would love to hear some feedback um, and make sure to always turn on those notifications so you can always be notified whenever I post.
the seventh one is tracking your expenses okay this one is big because a lot of people don't know how much money they're actually spending every single day if you don't know how much money is coming out of your bank account or out of your pocket in cash every single day you have to get on top of that you literally do so one of the things that you guys can do is print out a expense sheet or you can just get out of a piece of paper write down the date then go ahead and write down um, the expense meaning what did you buy the item or the description whatever you want to write then you write down the um, the amount of money that came out and where it came from and you're tracking your expenses so that means today okay I went to Starbucks and I bought coffee let me write that down that was $7.95 for a large whatever right <laughs> then lunchtime I went and got Chick-fil-a after work I got my nails done okay that was about $50 so 50 um, 14 and 7 so 21 plus 50 is you stupid you stupid you stupid you stupid what's nine plus ten 71 okay so basically you would go ahead and write those down you'll know that you spent 71 dollars on monday that could be a lot of money to some people that could be chump change to others so you got to know where you fit in that category if you know 71 dollars in one day is breaking your bank there is no reason for you to be buying food out for breakfast, lunch, and possibly dinner. My God, we could make a sandwich. You feel me? Put something in the microwave. Okay, don't live above your means just because you see other people doing things that you want to do or you think you can afford it, but you really can't. If you can't buy it twice, you can't afford it. Okay, period. Number eight, you have to create a budget. So this one is important because budgets kind of scare people a little bit. People talk down on budgeting as if it's something that's bad, but it's really not. It's just another technique for you to be able to have more money in your pocket. And it teaches you how to correctly delegate your money. You gotta tell yourself like, okay, this is how much money I'm putting towards this. This is how much money I'm putting towards this. This is how much money I'm putting towards that. And that's how you go about your budgeting. You have to know, like I said before, your income versus expenses. Plus you need to know, um, what are your expenses budgets help you not overspend if you so you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that you guys actually learned something from this and definitely apply it this year because 2021 can definitely change our life it's really all in what you do because we can go out finding more things to make money from but it's it's really all in what you keep anybody can save money never think that you can't save even just one dollar two dollars three dollars a day Okay, you can save money. Period. 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 Follow me on my social media, you guys. I'll have everything linked below um, for you guys to be able to check everything out. I just hit 70 subscribers. Okay, my one subscriber, I don't know who you were, but thank you. Okay, um, <laughs> share this video with anybody who you know might need help saving money and keeping money in their pockets. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and let's get it.